Hey guys, in this video and the coming videos, we're going to be learning data frames, how to use, how to create them, how to instantiate them, how to use them, and how to man manipulate data that's inside them and save it the way we want. So data frames are quite powerful. Um, they come in, a, in, in the from the pandas package. So as you can see here, I've imported it as the standard way of import pandas as pd, shift enter. Um, and to be able to use data frames, let's just remind ourselves of, of what they are. So really they are, a, they can be defined as um, two dimensional labeled data structures with columns of potentially, you know, different types. So they are two dimensional in a grid like uh, format. So if you're familiar with, if you're, if you're familiar with, uh, you know, database tables or maybe Microsoft Excel sheets, or for, if you've used R before, uh, data frames in R as well, where you can have, you know, different uh, uh, rows and columns of data. So it's a grid like, it's like a two dimensional array we've seen that um, uh, when we uh, when we t t t took a look at um, numpy so they are two dimensional uh, data structures they are labels so things can have labels columns can have labels and rows can have labels and uh, the data basically can be of potentially you know different types okay so uh, they usually consist of three main components the data itself and the index and the, 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 the columns. And to create a data frame, it's quite simple. We can create one if we want, or we can um, basically um, import one. So we can read a, a data frame file, like a CSV file or a table file, and we can manipulate the, the data in there. But let's, in the beginning now, create one ourselves. Um, so to be able to create a data frame, let's create it from an umpire, array. Right? So we've, we've imported pandas. Let's um, import numpy as np, and then let's have a look at this simple um, array. In fact, let's take this out so it becomes uh, clearer. What we're going to do is we're gonna we're going to create um, array. Let's call it. ARR equals so this is a simple two dimensional numpy array we've seen that before and then what we're going to say here is we're going to see pandas dot data frame create a data frame out of that two dimensional array and call it df if I do shift enter and now if I do just df I can see the contents of my data frame being you know the, the first array this one here the first vector as the as my first column I'm sorry as, as my first row and the second vector as my second row. And notice that uh, pandas automatically gives them indices and names. We mentioned before that uh, indices and, and labels, we mentioned before that the pandas data frames are um, label, labeled uh, two-dimensional data structures. And what I can do here is I can access the elements uh, by you know using the indices. So if I want, for example, uh, if I, for example, want to, um, want to access let's say yeah the um the 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 the, the contents of uh the, the the contents of the second column i'm sorry of the third column then uh, i can do df square brackets two so that because the ind indices start at zero so we have the first column at zero the second column at one and the third column at two so df of zero uh, which is one and four. If you remember, the data frame looked like that. Okay, so we can read it. We manip manipulate this, and we will have a, a deeper look in the coming videos. Um, one thing what we can do is, for example, if we wanted to access, if I just if I do just df dot and I do tab, I can have a look at several functions that I have here, and one of them I wanted to have, for example, uh, the column names. If I do shift enter now, it'll tell me the column names is still arranged. Uh, because it was assigned automatically, but I can uh, assign that manually as uh, I will be showing you uh, shortly. So it's telling me that the column names are, are the range from 0 to uh, 3. 3 is not included, so 0, 1, and 2, which are these ones we can see here. Um, to be able to um, specify the column names, uh, we can easily pass the column names um, as a, an array. So I can see here, comma columns, one of the properties to create a data frame, equals, and then we pass them on as an array. So the first column is maybe 
let's call it column one the second one is column two and because we have three columns let's say the third one is column three if I create that now and display the contents I will have column one column two and column three if I have the column names I will have the, the, the names either that I specified and if I'd like to access the contents of the second column for example I can say df of column 2 and I should be able to access the contents of uh, of that columns right I hope the idea makes sense it's very easy and uh, we should be able to pick it up quickly especially when we have more and more examples so I'm gonna stop here this is how you basically created out for an umpire array we mentioned before that we can read it from a CSV file we're going to be do doing that in the coming videos stay tuned and please keep watching and see you in the next video